Hey guys, this is E with Scrap Looking with me, and we are back. I am gonna, I'm gonna start working on the pages and probably some ephemera for our blue journal. Now, this is the the material. Hold on, let me get it. I'm thinking that this is the material that I'm going to use for the cover. Let me know what you think. Is it too much? I mean, for me, it's not too much, but this is going to be one that's going to go up in the shop. So, is butterflies too much? I'm thinking of making it blues, different shades of blues, and then it'll probably have a little bit of this um, lavender in it and it'll be like butterflies and birds and things like that all the way through. I'm printing off, if you hear my printer, I'm printing off a bunch of digital blues right now. So let me know if you think this would be too much. Like I said, I like it because I love butterflies, but some of you who don't like butterflies may not think that it would be too pretty. But I thought about putting this on the outside and then on the inside just a a pale blue or something like that. I don't really know what on the inside, but we'll figure that one out. So I'm thinking about doing that for my cover. And then, but today I'm gonna work on some pages and things. I've just had some ideas of some pages and I wanted to go ahead and get those done. I have printed out Susan. This is from Hello Susan. This is her blue and teal, I think it is collection she sent this to me a while ago and I I played around with it and did some things with it but <laughs> I bought it now and I printed it out for myself because I absolutely love that page right there that is I mean to me there is nothing prettier than that you've got your butterflies on there you've got your little birds your words some lace and trims and I mean it's gorgeous and then I printed out the, um, this is the ephemera that goes with it. Now, these two pages, this page, this page, and that page, of course, that won't go with it. But I wanted to let you know, these are up in on the blog as freebies for you to print out right now. They're, this one's in one post, and then this one is in the other. So you can go over and grab that if you want. But I'm going to use some of these in my journal. Like that would go great. Um, that little word. Some of these would go good. So some of those will go in the journal as well. But I wanted to show you. I posted about it last night. But I hadn't, hadn't told you about it. So I wanted to tell you. Now I am going to use some of these. I just love that smell. Some of these coffee dyed papers from Triple V Vintage, I do believe. Am I saying that right? I hope I am. Triple V Vintage. Let me look. Hold on a minute. Let me make 100% sure because I don't want to tell you wrong. Uh, yes, Triple V Vintage. Okay. So these are from Triple V. And then... I'm going to do some pages on that, and then I've just pulled out some of my own cardstock, things like that. So let's just get started and see what we can make. Like I said, I still have some things printing, but I wanted to get started on some pages. Now this journal is going to be a 6 by 9 so I think we'll be able to just fold these in half, and we should be able to use those like that. Let's see what we got. Um, so we've got five and a half by eight and a half. So that will work well, that page right there. Now my other pages like these that have the little bit of white around the edge, I may have to trim some of those down, but that's not a biggie. I, I don't mind some of my pages being larger than the other in my journal. I mean, if you do, um, you can do yours a little different, but I don't mind being mind being a little bit different sizes. So I'm gonna use this, and I just went ahead and folded it in the middle because I'm gonna make, be making a different kind of uh, page out of it. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna use this, and look how well this brown right here goes with this. Isn't that beautiful? It just amazes me how different artists 
can make something. They don't even know each other, don't even see anybody else's creation, but they can make something and then you can put it together and they look so real I mean so much like the same person made these I don't know if it's showing up that way in the camera or not but this and this is identically the same color that that would only happen a, once in a million I think <laughs> all right so what I'm gonna do I'm trying to decide I don't really want to hide all of my little pieces on here so let me see I'm, I'm gonna make my decision <clears throat> and it may take me just a minute oh, I'm just trying to find one where I want hide a bunch of things that I don't want to hide if you know what I mean okay let's go with this well I'm gonna hide that butterfly if I go with that one Oh, Edith, you can print them out again. Oh, see, I, I just don't want to do anything with them. I can print them out again. All right, I'm going to use this one. I'll, I'll hide the butterfly with what I want to do, and I'll probably hide that, but I'll still have all of this, and I can always put a butterfly on top. Or what I can do is I could cut that butterfly out and use it on the top of what I'm going to put across here. Let's think about that a minute while I fold this. I have to think about it. I probably, I don't know. I may not cut it out. Who knows? We'll see. So what I need to do with this is cut it in half because we're actually going to make one of those pages that has the corner like this. Oh, yeah, that has the little corner like that. And here and then we're going to make a pocket across here so it'll have different pockets on there so let's go ahead and cut that out and see what we can come up with and like I said this is Susan hello Susan this is her printable I will link it below um, I have like I said I've played around with it before she sent it to me last year for me to do a project with and I did the project and then Today, when I was searching for some blue, different blues to go in my journal, I thought I saw this and I thought, oh my goodness, there's no way I can pass that up. So we're going to need to cut it right down through there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and trim off the little white edges and then we'll kind of go from there. I just don't want to trim it down too much because I don't want... It to be sh too short so I'm just going to trim a tiny bit and then we can always go back and ink it if it's not quite enough you know what I mean you know what I mean Vern I don't know if y'all have ever heard that saying before or not but my husband's always saying you know what I mean Vern see it's a little bit short okay I'm not going to worry about it being a little bit shorter than this piece because I can always pull this up to the top and then when my pocket goes across here you're not going to see that this is a little bit short anyway so that's what we're going to do now I am going to take let's make sure that it's not too wide I don't want it to go over my fold because you don't need anything to interfere with that fold so let's don't take it over the fold okay I'm just going to fold it right there and see what we got to see what that looks like. Let's see if that's going to work. This is trial and error, so I hope you guys don't mind me playing around on here. See what I can come up with. All right, so that looks like it's going to work. Now, you can fold this piece under so that it'll be nice and strong. Your pocket will be. Or if you want to save it, you can trim it off. I'm thinking that I'll probably fold mine under. All right, I'm gonna glue that down just like that. Now, you could come on down this way and make your pocket, you know, deeper. But since I'm gonna put another little pocket across here, I just wanted to fold mine like that. So all I did was start it at the corner and then I just folded over to almost the edge of here. I left just a tiny bit, maybe an eighth of an inch between the end of this and the edge okay 
So then we're just going to first glue this down. Now I know I'm going to have people ask me what I printed this on. I printed this on, this is printed on the paper that I tell you all the time that I grab from Walmart. I love it. It. Um, I will try to link it below. The only place I found it is at Walmart. But I usually get a big supply of it when I buy it. And it's not very expensive. But it prints really, really well. I don't particularly care for photo paper. To me, it's a little bit too... I don't know, textural, if that's a word, I don't know. I just don't like the feel of it. And I don't, you know, it doesn't, to me it doesn't work any better than this. And this is a whole lot cheaper. So I'll link this below so that you can check your local Walmart and see if they have it. I'm pretty sure they probably do all over. So I usually order mine online because I order, you know, five or six packs at a time. But I have looked on Amazon and different places and I have not found it there. So I don't think they carry it. Okay, now we're going to glue right up through here. So I have glued down this way across the bottom and then up through here. So we're going to go ahead. Now, I know you're saying, oh man, you're covering that little butterfly up on the back you should have cut that out I could have cut that little butterfly out and used it but it would have left a little hole in that paper and when I put things down in there it might have hindered it a little bit so it's fine I've got lots of other butterflies that I can use and like I said I can print this out again so it's not the only time that I can use it I can print it out as many times as I want That was another question I had about somebody who purchased one of our digitals. They said, can you only print it one time? No, you can print as many times as you want. And I think everybody's digitals are that way because, I mean, once you purchase it, it's yours. And, you know, you download it to your computer. So I don't think anybody has a limit that I know of. Now, they're, if they do, they probably have it in their information you know that there's a limit to prints or something like that but I don't know why they would because it doesn't cost them anything if you print it 20 times okay all right I'm gonna go ahead and ink around this and I'm gonna ink let's see part of this journal is gonna be inked in blue and part of it will be inked in the brown I'm going to ink this in the brown because I think it would look kind of strange to be inked in the blue. But I will ink the paper in blue. Probably blue sapphire. If I have blue sapphire. I'm not sure. We will ink it in some kind of blue. And thank you guys for all the well wishes. I feel quite a bit better today. I'm still you know struggling a little bit with my voice and I uh, I don't have a lot of energy but it's not you know it's not anything other than just I'm tired because I'm trying to keep on working and fight this cold off so that's all that's going on but okay we're gonna need to trim this off just a tiny bit so I'm gonna trim this little bit of white right here so, and I, I apologize, I haven't got to all of your comments and questions. I'm a little bit behind on that, but I just, you know, I've only felt like doing what I absolutely have to do the last few days. So, that is why, that is why. Okay. So, we're going to put this one that way, because when you open this up, you're going to have one that folds in this way that has that down through there and then the other one like this so we're just going to fold that one over so I'm going to go just like I did on the other one close to, very very close to that edge but not all the way and then press that down So that will go like 
that. And I didn't even trim that white off the top of that one. Look at that. Or off the bottom. Isn't that something? Let's trim it, Edith. Get with it, girl. Okay. Okay, I need to make that little fold again. You know, we made some of these not too long ago, but I have used all of them up. And sometimes I like to go ahead and prepare my pages before I put my journal cover together. Because I know what size it's going to be, so I don't have to worry about, you know, making sure that my pages fit. Alright, so I'm going to leave that gap in there because that's where you're going to stitch that together. And let me get my blue ink. Because I do want to go ahead and... Let's see, this is Mermaid Lagoon, but I think it will work. I'm going to go ahead and ink this before I put it down. This is a very beautiful blue. So this will have a mixture of different people's pages in it. It's not going to be just one particular company. It will be various companies. I also have some of my porch prints printed off and I'll be using some of hers. Okay, so there is that. We'll go ahead and ink this. I really don't have to ink all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to be adding another pocket there, but we'll do that. Now, let's see. I'm just going to make sure that I come all the way out to the edge here, and then we'll glue that down. Just like that. Okay, now keep in mind that these are going to be on different pages in your journal. This may be close to the back, this may be close to the front, so they don't have to particularly match because you're going to be putting other pages in between them and on top of them and behind them and so but I'm just going to make mine like this and they'll match close enough okay all right now we'll add some glue and down through here and I know you may be saying, I know how to do those pockets. Show me something I don't know how to do. <laughs> um, I'm still having to try to do smaller projects right now. Just because I don't have the energy to sit out here for, you know, four and five hours and do a big project. So just bear with me until I can get all of my strength back. <clears throat> you know, when you're older and you have colds and things, it takes a lot more out of you than it did when you're young. <laughs> I used to be, able, you know, I, when I was young, I could have a cold like this and, you know, a summer cold or whatever. and Or my allergies would flare up and I could just bounce right back and keep on trucking. I'd play softball when I was pregnant and everything else and just kept on going. But... Not anymore. <laughs> I'm, too, I'm too old. My body doesn't fight that well anymore. Okay. So there are those. Aren't those pretty? Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a pocket across here. Now I'm not going to put the pocket, I don't think, unless I can put a pocket that's kind of thin. Let me see what I might have to run across there. That's If it's a thin paper, I can run it across there with no problem. And make another pocket but if it's very thick then it won't work well because you know you don't want the thickness to go across your spine because of the folding so let we shall see what we'll do I'm just gonna look through here let me look at these others okay now these are my porch prints and I want you to look. They're a little bit different blue, but they match beautifully with this collection. Look at that. So, that's why I got this one as well. And I will link this one below. I can't remember right off the top of my head what it's called. Uh, vintage something maybe. But anyway, I'll link it below. Okay, what about that? Or this one? 
Let's cut the edge off of this one and we'll see what we got. Well, I'm going to have to use my big trimmer. See, I'm still not thinking exactly straight. And I know you probably say, well, your brain has been like that for a long time, lady. <laughs> um, I still can't think exactly straight because my head is still so cloggy and I've got so much medicine in me that I'm still having trouble thinking. But... Thank the Lord, I do feel a lot better than I did. I can just get rid of this hazy feeling and the little bit of cough. We'll be doing great. Okay. Go ahead and... Now let's see what this one might look like. I kind of like that one as a pocket. What do you think? Or we could do this one as a pocket. Okay, I think I've decided on this one as a pocket. Yep, because it'll put my butterflies back, plus it will give me some of the same colors that I have in these flowers. Now, I'm only going to make my pocket probably about, uh, about two inches. That will give plenty of room to tuck some smaller journaling cards or tags in there. So if I'm going to make it two inches, and I really want to use this top part, then I'm, I'm going to go ahead and cut this at mm, two and a half, maybe. Because I want to fold over a little bit of that top. Because if I fold over some of the top, then it's going to give me a stronger pocket. Since this is not printed on cardstock. Now if you're putting you know, a real pad, thick pattern paper or cardstock on here, then you would not have to do this. Now, I only want to come to right there. So we're going to cut that off. And I'm hoping that there'll be enough on the other end for me to use. Yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Because keep in mind that a lot of this is going to be down at the spine, so it's not going to be shown. Now, I'm going to, you could just fold this if you wanted to, but I'm going to use my uh, scoring tool to score this. And I'm going to use the bigger ball on here to score it at two. Right at, and this is going to be the top, so I'm scoring at two inches right at the top. That way I can get a good crisp fold when I fold this over like that. See, I've got my butterflies. I didn't lose anything except a little bit of the vintage look. And we'll put that back on when we ink it. So, I think this may be shabby blue. Maybe that's what she called it. I don't know. I'll link it below, so don't worry about it. I will link it. So let's fold this one over. And evidently I didn't crease that one as well as I did the other one. Let's see. Okay, and then I like to just make sure that my score lines are really, really crisp. That makes a really pretty pocket like that. Okay. See, once we bring that down to the bottom, you can't even tell that this page was a tiny bit shorter. So we're going to ink this up. Well, first I'm going to glue this little one half inch down. Let's go ahead and glue this down. Okay, glue this one down. Now we will ink it up with our blue. I kind of chose this blue because since I'm going to be adding a little bit of the teal and the blue in here, it's got more of a, a teal and a blue look. 
so I think it'll blend better with all the colors but you could certainly use just your regular distress ink you don't have to do your different colors but I've got them and why not use them you can also double ink this if you want you can put your blue there and then just straight into go in and put your vintage photo or your brown on the very edge and that will make it look a lot more vintage too you can do that so I don't know if you can see the difference in the look of those makes just a little bit of difference and they don't bring it up this way take it straight into the paper because you're only wanting it right on the tip just right on the edge and then just run it down through there okay so then we're going to glue those down right there at the bottom and someone asked when I was using this glue they said it doesn't look like you press on that hard at all you don't have to it comes out very very easy so on that you do not have to press on it now as I always do when I put down my flat pockets I put them down and then I take my fingers and I push in just a little bit at that top because I want to have a little bit of room there I don't want it to be so tight glued down that you can't get anything in there you know you've had a pocket that you glue it down so tight that you try to get a tag or something in there and it won't well, that's why I push a little bit in on the top right before it dries and that makes your pocket a little bit looser at the top not much don't push it too much if you do you're gonna have a big bubble in it just push it just a little bit okay so I'll show you on this one I'm just gonna make sure that the bottom is even and that the end over here is even because that's what's going to show this don't worry about it's going to be in your spine it's not going to show so now that I've got the bottom glued down well I just take my fingers and push just a tiny bit and you can see that give just a little bit so that you have room to add extra tags and tucks and things in there so look at that isn't that beautiful I love it now I'm gonna go ahead and ink this well so now what we have is we can put big journaling cards in here and then we can put tags in here let me just grab something to stick in there just to show you see that's a thick piece of chipboard and it holds it nice and well okay all right, we'll make the tags for those a little bit later. Let's see if I want to put anything else on these, though. Do I? I might want to put a label right there. Do I have any blue labels? Let's see if there's any blue labels that I have here. This is also from Hello Susan. That's pretty right there. This is just some that I cut out of. I don't know if it was this collection or another one, but isn't that pretty? Hmm. let's see I don't think I want that one on there I might want that one nope I kind of like the small one put that small one right there and then we could always come back later and put a little uh, word or something in there if we want to I'm going to go ahead and ink around this one we could even stamp a little word in there if we wanted to. I think that's pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do this side now. You can put lots more decorations on the other side if you want. But I think I'm going to flip it over and do this side. And what are we going to do this side with? I don't, I'm not going to do it the same way. I'm going to do a different type of pocket. So... I think I'm going to use this page and let me see how big I want my this is going to be a double pocket stacked but let's see I think we can go that tall maybe 
we're almost going to split it in half. So let's see what we can do. Make sure I get that somewhat near straight right there. All right. Put that right there for a minute because we're going to be using it again. All right, now I want to make sure that I split this in the middle, right near the spine. So I'm just going to go ahead and ink my spine up so that I can see where it is. Yeah, that'll work right there. And I'll tell you what size this is, but of course you can make yours any size that you want. This one is going to be... Uh, this is four inches, but I think I am going to fold the top down. So it's going to be three and a half. And I just like to fold the top down a little bit because it keeps it from being so fragile at the top. And then we're going to come back with one. Let's make this one two and a half. And then when all is said and done, this one will be two inches. Let me see which way I want to go with this. I think I want to go that way with it. And yeah, I cut my little butterfly right half in two, but that's okay. Yeah, that's going to work. Okay. Let's go ahead and score this and fold it. Let's see, this is the top. So I'm just going to score it at four. I'll score this one at four. And then this one, I'm just going to go ahead and score it uh, at two. And then I'll cut it in half in just a second. So I'm just going to cut it the same width as this one. Right there. All right. Now we can start folding, inking, and gluing down. All right, there are our pockets. Now I'm gonna go ahead and ink these up. And I'm not gonna put pulls in mine because I don't think they're gonna need it. But if you wanted to put your little thumb pull, you could. Okay, we're gonna glue this little piece down right here at the top. And just do that on all four of the pieces. Right, now we are ready to glue these down. So I'm going to glue that one right there. Then this one's going to go on this side. And remember, make them flush up to the outside edge, not in here. Don't worry about that part. It's going to be down close to your spine and you're not going to be able to notice it. There we go with that. And then we will put these on. Those go good together. I like that. Okay, there's a little pocket. Press it in on the sides. Let's see. Oh, I started to say I did that one upside down, but I didn't. Okay, so there are your stacked pockets on there. And let me grab something. So there's a pocket there, and there, and then a pocket up here. Now, on up here, I'll probably put, when, it, when I start putting these in the journal, I'll probably put something else up here. Maybe a butterfly, I don't know, book pages, um, music pages, who knows. But I'll put something else up here to kind of bring that all together in a blue, and it'll kind of tie it all up. Now, I want to put something right here, just a little label or something. Let's see what I have. I've got a little box here of some goodies. Look at that. <laughs> I like that. Hmm. Don't know about that. I don't remember who sent these to me, but they're, aren't they beautiful? And that tan color goes with that. Hmm. I may have to put one of those on there. They're not real thick. See? They're not real thick. They would add a little bit of dimension, but not a lot. So I may add that one there. 
but I'm still thinking I want a little label or a ticket or something over there. And let's see. I don't think there's any blue in there. So let me look through here and see if I have any blue labels. Yes, I do. Blue, yes, I do. Yeah, I want a skinny one, so I think that one's going to be the one that works. Even though it says vegetation, <laughs> which I guess some of this could be vegetation. But I'm going to trim that darker blue off of there. Just trim it down to where it's the lighter blue. Yeah, that works better. Much, much better. Okay, and I'm going to double ink this because I want it to blend with both colors the brown and the blue I'll put that right there and then I do think we're gonna put this butterfly on here these are kind of an acrylic there we go let me mop up some of my excess glue so there is that and that pretty so that page is ready to go in the journal so we're going to lay this one aside and then let's grab another. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to fold it. I just love these pages. I need it. I need a thousand more. Can you do that for me? <laughs> oh me. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and ink around this. It doesn't need much inking, truthfully, because it, it has the, the coffee picked up real dark right there on the edges. So it's very, very pretty. But I'm going to add a little bit. All right, let's see. What do we want to do on this one? I'm thinking about bringing some pockets this way on this one and having some tucks like this. Yeah, let's do that. I'm, I got a got something in my mind, so we'll we'll do this one and see how it looks. Okay, somehow or other, I cut that piece short. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. But we're gonna improvise. We're gonna use it anyway. Now I am going to score this at one half inch, and that'll just give us a little bit extra protection there on that pocket. that looks kind of crooked okay then we're gonna put a little glue right here put that piece down and then this is gonna go like that right down through there and let's see let me think a minute okay i'm gonna ink it in blue yeah we'll glue that there and then we'll do something else down here at the bottom since i've got it just a little bit short okay so that piece is down now sometimes your paper will wrinkle just a little bit just because your back paper is wrinkled if you'll just put it under a big book or something like that, it'll flatten out. I'm probably going to run a piece of lace down through here too. Right now, I just don't know what lace. Now, I also cut this piece, and this is a piece that is, it is four and three quarters, and it's about eight and a half. It's the same length of this. And I just folded it over because I want this to be thicker than just a single piece of paper. And I'm going to put that right down through there. What I'm going to put on top of this is pockets. So these will be some smaller pockets. And I just got some scraps here. And I'll have to trim them off a little bit. But we'll start our first pocket right there. And then this one we'll put on top of that and bring it down to the bottom 
that way we'll have even though we're covering up the little butterfly on the back we'll have the butterfly here and that'll be two nice pockets and I may leave this under here open I hadn't really decided yet I'm trying to think about that one but I am gonna punch a little pull in the top of these and I'm just gonna do this before I glue them on or before I get ready to glue them on and trim them off hopefully I'll have them close to this center all right let's see what do I want to do here now you could also leave this open just in certain areas you know just glue pieces together like we did on that belly band and then have little tuck pockets that way hmm I don't really know what I want to do yet on that so I'm gonna do some inking and then I'll try to think what I want to do exactly this paper is is a little bit thicker than copy paper but it's not as thick as cardstock so I don't want to put too much pressure on it but I think it'll hold up without any problem so what if we glue that down there okay I think I'm gonna glue this together and then I'm just gonna leave the underneath part as a little tuck that way I'll have the strength of the pocket but yet I'll have another place for a little tuck so and you can do this with any size page that you're doing just adjust your pockets like you need to so we got that glued together then I'm just going to glue it down this side and across the top and bottom and I may glue right down the middle because I want when I put my pockets on there I don't want it kind of gaping out so I'll probably run a little bit of glue right across the middle of it too then you'll have just two small tucks back there whoops gluing on the wrong side Edith try that again woman okay so that's gonna go down that way so I need to glue over here I was thinking about my pockets and completely forgot which side I needed to glue on all right let's come right across there like that and I didn't measure that if you wanted to be exact you could measure it I just guesstimated Pull that back over a little bit. Ugh. Well, come on now. You go down. There we go. Okay. Now we should have a little pocket here and a pocket up here. Or a little side tuck that we could put something in. Now I'm going to go ahead and ink these. And then we'll put those down for our pockets pockets on a side tuck I guess you could call these so I'll tell you what I'm gonna shave just a tiny bit of both of these off that way hopefully when I glue it'll be glued in the right spot just a tiny tiny bit and that may not be enough we'll see yep that one is uh, yep that's enough okay now we can ink where we need to ink down the sides across the bottom and back up that side and then I'm gonna put this one probably about an inch and a half from the top because when you put a tag in there you don't want it sticking out well I don't want it sticking out you might want it sticking out I don't so we'll put that there and then I'm gonna even this one up at the bottom down here that paper's so so pretty and that this is out of our new paper pad let me grab it it's called iconic beauty brand new just in the shop yesterday this paper is out of that this was scrap that I had left over after I did something else 
So then we can make little tucks to go in here, and then you'll have little pockets here on this side. So I like that, and then on this one I'm wanting to put some trim, maybe like that, and then that could be another little tuck. Let's try that. I'm going to go ahead and trim this off even, and let's see. Right to there. All right, I'm going to trim it off right there. I'm still thinking. But I think that's going to work, I hope. We'll see. We shall see in just a minute. <laughs> so we're going to run our glue down the side. And then across the bottom. Right there. Hopefully I took it far enough. If I didn't, I can just put a little bit more glue under there. And I think that's the back side. I had someone who told me the way you can tell the front from the back of your trim is to fill of it and the rough side, the side that is really rough, you can fill all the stitches, that's the back side. And the side that you can't fill all the stitches on, the non-rough side, that is the front. So that one actually I could feel the back side was rougher than the front. So. Thank you. I can't remember who told me that, but thank you so much. Now I'm just going to trim these little bits off right here. And then I'm going to run some art glitter glue along that because I don't want it to ravel anymore. I could probably stitch it and it wouldn't, but I don't know if I want to stitch this page or not. So all you have to do is put a little bit of art glitter glue right on the edge on your trim and then just press it in and wait for it to dry and you won't have any trouble with it fraying anymore this is a very very old trim I'm pretty sure I think one of you guys actually gave it to me and I'm afraid it would fray a lot if I don't do something to it so just a little bit of art glitter glue along there, press it in with your finger, and then just lay it aside and let it dry. And then what we have is another little tuck pocket here, pocket here. Isn't that neat? I like that. All right, and then we got pocket here and here. Cool. All right, let's see what we might do on the back side of this. Now, I'm not 100% sure of what I want to do on the back side. Let's see. Um, all right, I think I am going to leave the other side of this one alone for now. Don't really know what I want to do on it or if I want to do anything or just leave it for journaling. So I think I'm going to leave that one alone for right now. So that's another finished one. All right, right before we go, and I'm I'm probably going to let that be the two sheets that I have done for you today. Uh, that is two sheets toward our journal. But right before I go, I want to show you something. This is, and let's just do this one. This is a piece of the ephemera that I printed, and I accidentally printed it on regular copy paper. Well, I don't really want it on regular copy paper. So in order to have this to where I can cut it out and everything is a little bit stiffer and I can use the journal cards and all of that, I can go ahead and back this complete sheet just like it is. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can always just cut each piece out and back each piece as you start using it. But I like to go ahead and back the whole sheet and then just cut it out because I'm going to cut everything on here out anyway. So that's just my process, and I just used some scrap cardstock that I have, and it that brown of this cardstock kind of shows through and makes it look a little bit more vintage. So that's me, but like I said, you can do it any way that you want. 
I just like doing it this way when I accidentally print because I could print it again but I don't want to print it again when I've already got it printed once I don't want to print it again right now I don't want to throw this one away and waste it so what I'll do is I will use this one and then I don't know what that red is on there off of some material I guess and then I will cut these pieces out and I'll have them ready to go and then I can always go back and print it again if I need more but I, I just accidentally had some of my regular copy paper mixed in with this so it printed and it just keeps sliding it printed on regular which I didn't want it to but it did it's going to try to lay it down you don't have to get it perfect because you're going to trim all this out anyway so all right now that is nice and thick now and so we want to trim this little piece out we can and if after you trim it out if you see you didn't have enough glue under something you can always go back and add I would have done it a lot I would have put a lot more glue under there had I not been filming but I think I've got enough so there is my piece right there and then I've got my journaling space already on the back so it is cut out ready to go and I just check my edges and see I can tell right there I don't have enough glue so go ahead and add glue there I will stitch around this probably anyway so it's not a biggie but now that one is ready to go and I can go ahead and put my ink on there and then I can do my stitching if I want to and I need to change my thread before I stitch but then that one's ready to go so then all of these will cut out nice and um, so all of these now will cut out and they'll be nice and thick so that you can use them you don't have to cut them out and then take time backing each and every one of them I don't know this is just easier for me you might not want to do that but just thought I would show the ones of you who do want to do this and who I just don't like taking like if I cut this out this piece would be a little bit flimsy and then I would have to try to find a piece to back it on and so to me this is just much easier you can do this even if you have printed on a thicker cardstock you can still do this if you want to back your sheet before you cut your pieces out and see I'll cut that one out later off camera because it's got some little squiggly cuts in it but we can go ahead and cut some of these out let's just cut the butterfly out and we'll and I'm just going to use these scissors I've got my fussy cut scissors here but I'm just going to use these for right now they do do pretty good in fussy cutting when it's a larger piece like this so and sometimes I don't even cut the little I don't know tentacles or whatever they're called out sometimes I just cut them off but I think on these I'll go ahead and cut them out I can always ink them up to make them look a little bit more real see this is a nice size butterfly for our journal okay so there we go we've got our little butterfly cut out and now what I'll do is I will ink these little places up and ink around the edge just to cover up any white that I might have left and there we go there is our little butterfly and he cute so he's ready to go and then all of these pieces you can cut out too and they will be ready to use so that's just a little hint in case you want to do that uh, like this one I'll do it too because I printed this one accidentally on regular real thin cheap copy paper so I'll go ahead and back this one on a nice piece of cardstock and then I'll cut these out and they'll be ready to go all right guys I think that is all that I'm gonna do today I'll go ahead and make the 
tags for all of these and then I'll probably have them ready when I take the photos of everything. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. I will continue to work on this blue journal, and I hope you follow along with me. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.